Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a circular button in Elementor step by step, just like this one over here. This tutorial can be done with both Elementor Pro and the free version of Elementor, which I'm going to demonstrate at the end of this video. However, if you're using Pro or the free version, we're going to start by adding in a button. I'm going to delete my button over here and I'm going to build it with you from the beginning. So let's search for the button widget and drag it in and then we're going to go over to style and we're going to give this a background color so i'm going to use this purple color that i've created here the next thing we we'll do is we go to the typography and i'm going to just change this on over to fig tree and we'll make that bold and then over here we want to set the border radius so i'm going to give it a border radius of 50 and I'm just going to change this to percent. So let's just put that back at 50. And then this one over here, we're going to make this one uh, 20. Okay, so now we need to add a code snippet. And you can find the link to this in the description below. And I want you to copy this code snippet. So we'll copy that. Go back to the site. And we're now going to search for the HTML widget. So search for that there. And you can just drop it in right over here. Now, don't worry, this won't be visible on the front end. It'll only be viewable on the back end. So we can now paste in our code here. And then you need to go over to back to your button. So click on the button widget. And we're going to add in a CSS ID so that we can connect this code to the button. Okay, so we're going to add in our CSS ID over here. And we're going to say round. Make sure that it's spelled the same because this text is linking up to the text in the code. So if you're using Elementor Pro, you can use this code snippet over here. So let's go and copy this code. And we're going to go over to advanced and we're going to say custom CSS. We're going to paste that code in over here. And then as you can see, it is now a round circle. The next thing that we can add is just a little bit of styling to make this slightly better. So I'm going to add in a border and I'll make it a uh, solid. And then I'm going to give it a border width of, let's say, around eight pixels. And there you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.